Hi there, you are on Knowledge for All YouTube channel. You are watching Scratch Tutorials and in this one we are going to explain another Scratch block. To be more precise we are going to learn about Scratch block which is called wait for some amount of seconds. Okay, so let's go to Scratch and see what this block does okay so we are in scratch we are continuing where we have left off in the last video in the last video we have made our uh, scratch cat talk some text on on the screen on the stage or to be more precise to say it and we have we have the problem where when we want to say a couple of things in some kind of order the cat seems to say only the last one the last block we are going to uh, that's that's a problem for our game because if we have few blocks all the previous blocks uh, won't be visible they are uh, scratch runs through them and says them in a split of second and that they are not visible on the screen we want to solve that problem and we want to have pause little pause between every one of these block and we want to s uh, make it so that uh, it looks like uh, cat is saying these sentences one by one in uh, some kind of natural order with some kind of natural pause between them uh, uh, one more thing to to show before uh, explaining how to solve that problem is that when we snap those blocks one below the other and, uh, and now I'm going to press the green uh, flag to start the program to start the game but uh, don't look at the cat here on the right but look on this on this um, block of code block of blocks <laughs> and uh, you will uh, notice how it will become yellow it uh, the bo border around it it will uh, become a yellow like a blinking yellow uh, and uh, take care just look at look at the, at the at your left and you have seen that if you have uh, uh, watched watched again just like some kind of blink of flash flash uh, yellow light we will see it later how to how to make it uh, stay there longer for some other uh, reasons but for now on just uh, you are uh, supposed to understand that uh, that's how the scratch shows to you that he uh, is reading some code and you have seen how fast it really is when that uh, uh, yellow border shows that means that uh, scratch read the code and that's it he, he scratch read the code and uh, executed it uh, and so if you had the uh, 100 blocks one below the other it will it would also blink like that in a split of second and that's the 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 amount of time on uh, how 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 long does it take for scratch to read a block and uh, execute it so you can see that it's really really fast and you can only notice it as a blink okay that's it for now uh, in terms of showing that let's solve our problem for uh, this um, for this tutorial for this block we are going to go to control blocks they are uh, orange color and uh, first from the uh, first from the top first from above says wait one second drag it to your uh, code window and then again just think about it what it will uh, probably do it will do what it says like always in scratch um, it will wait uh, for one second with executing your other uh, your block your code your scratch program so for example I will uh, uh, now in uh, first say block i will delete everything else but hello snap it to when green 
uh, flag clicked, then snap it, wait for one second, then snap it and scratch cat. So from the top of, uh, to below you have uh, when a green flag clicked, say hello, wait for uh, one second, then say I'm scratch cat. Let's click on the green flag and see what will happen. Uh, great, so now it works uh, like we uh, think it will it would work and it solved one of our problems and that problem was uh, how to make pause between our sentences, our sayings. So let's try it again. Hello, wait for a second and then say I'm scratch cat. Okay, so if I need uh, more uh, conversation uh, here, if I need more sentences and uh, more pauses, I will just duplicate this block. So uh, put your cursor on it, right click, click on duplicate. We, we um, copied both of them because they were, there were two, one uh, wait and one save block. I can delete this, say I'm scratch cat and just snap this wait second or if you feel more comf comfortable just drag another from your left window control blocks and just drag it here and um, uh, now uh, first snap the wait one second below on scratch cat and then snap welcome to programming and below it as the last one so for, from the top to below we have now when the green uh, flag clicked say hello wait for one second then say I'm scratch cat then wait for a sec one second and then say welcome to programming okay so let's try to see if that works yeah it does so uh, again it uh, if you looked at uh, if you looked at um, uh, this block, whole block of code, it blinked yellow, but for a little bit longer, and then it executed everything, and it uh, it said it on the screen, like on the stage, like we want it. So the, everything looks great and works great for for now on. Uh, just let let's see. Um, what we can change here or uh, experiment a little more. Uh, for example, if uh, if you are a slow reader or if you have a lot of text here, maybe sometimes one second won't be uh, long enough for us for you to read everything on the screen. So instead of uh, saying uh, one second, we can say three seconds here. So for that way, you will have uh, three seconds to read uh, this time scratch cat. and it works great and as as uh, once more just to, to make it clear to you let's let's do something crazy let's uh, type 10 seconds instead of three seconds just to show it how how that uh, yellow border will stay for 10 seconds and uh, to, uh, to show you that i was telling you the truth before when i said it will stay yellow and you see it stays yellow as long as uh, the code is running so for, for this case it will stay 10 seconds for this pause and one second for for this pause so this yellow border will be here for 11 seconds in total which means that uh, scratch is uh, reading that code for 11 seconds as we, as we have told him to do so okay so let's uh, bring this back instead of 10 to 3 seconds and i think that's it for now for this one for this uh, tutorial and we have explained what uh, this wait for uh, seconds block does and as we have speak uh, uh, as we have uh, explained for another blocks uh, uh, that you can combine them with another blocks and so on. Uh, same goes for this this block. You can uh, you can snap it to a, any kind of uh, code or block wherever you want it. I don't find it um, very smart or, or comfortable doing it here because I don't need it. If you want to do it on your own, feel free to do it. And uh, 
there's nothing to be afraid of if you for example put it here it doesn't uh, work like you you wanted you just uh, detach it and and the snap uh, uh, the one which the block which was there before and you delete this one which you don't need and so on you just feel free to experiment to play with the code that's how you are supposed to learn programming and that's what programming should be it should be fun another uh, problem that we have uh, here and which we are going to solve in the next video is the problem of uh, we had two problems in the last video the one was that we didn't have the pause between the sentences we have solved that one so we have uh, pause now everything looks natural but the problem is now that uh, another problem uh, second problem we had that uh, that was the problem of uh, the text staying on the scre screen so the last sentence is welcome to programming will stay on the scene and it will stay there forever why because uh, until uh, it won't stay forever uh, it will stay forever as long as the game is on but if we'll shut it down on the red button stop it will uh, fade away but uh, it will stay as long as the game is running and why is that so it, it's so because uh, under this block say welcome to program we don't have anything else we don't have some uh, code some block of code which is saying hey delete that the text uh, delete that sentence and uh, make it clear so that's what we are going to do in the next videos and i hope this was uh, fun maybe too long for you to watch but uh, i will try to to explain things faster and smarter in next videos bye for now and keep on learning on your own